Okay, here we go. Here is the Dynascape screen. Um, what I'd also like to do right now is there's a PDF within the Think Ethic um, page that I would love for you to download and print out. It is a screenshot of this screen that you're looking at with a place for you to take notes. So you can print out as many copies as you need so that you can take notes while you're watching this video to, to refer back to um, when you're doing it on your own. So um, I realize there's a lot of buttons here. And we're just going to slowly go through these buttons and walk you through the steps um, to create a drawing. So the first thing we're going to do is click this quick start button here. This is going to open the drawing. This You're not working on anything right now. So click on this and um, a box pops up. This says new drawing. And here is where you choose the size of your drawing page and the scale. And just know you can always change this later if you realize that um, the project you're working on is either too big or too small for that sheet of paper. You can either change the paper size or you can change the scale and it will not um, lose any of your work. So I like to work in 24 by 36, one inch equals eight feet because that typically fits a residential lot. So click okay, left click. And what you see now is your black screen with a dotted rectangle. And the area within this dotted rectangle is the part of your drawing that will print once you save it as a PDF. This area outside of your drawing is still usable space, but it will not print and won't save as your PDF. So quick trick. Next thing we're gonna learn is um, zoom in and out and how to navigate through this drawing. So um, this is how they want you to zoom around this drawing, but these are super complicated. So don't worry about these. Here is the shortcut. Hold down shift. And there's a scroll, ball on, a scroll bar on your mouse. Zoom out, zoom in while holding down the shift key and it zooms in and out of your drawing. Um, while you're still holding down shift, press down on that scroll bar and it moves the drawing around like this. So again, holding down shift, zoom in, zoom out, press down the scroll bar, move it around like this. So um, see some of these are red and white and some of these are gray and black. Um, the white ones as if you were pressing down on a button. So um, I want you to turn off inference. So left click this, turn it gray again. We're going to turn inference off because we're going to do that um, with a shortcut key too. Um, and this constraint key, none, ortho, horizontal, vertical, and polar. So we're going to learn about that. And to do that, um, we're going to go to your draw button. So this second button here, DRW is for draw. So we're going to open up this toolbar and go to the third button, which is draw a straight or curved polyline. So left click this line here, please. And another box pops up that you can um, tell it more exactly how, what kind of line you want to draw, or if you just start drawing, you draw whatever you want. So you notice we turn constraints off, click on it and it says none and it's gray. So that means I left click on this drawing and I can draw a, a line in any direction I want, 360 degrees. Okay. Left click, left click is a point and you can still, you can keep going left click, left click, any direction you want. And when you hit the right click, that's telling the computer to stop drawing that line or stop doing that function. We're going to use that a lot. Left click, left click, and then right click to stop. So now we're going to turn constraints to ortho. And this means left click, I can only draw up and down, right and left. Okay. So left click, left click, left click, left click, right click. So I have um, drawn right angles here. Horizontal, just what it sounds, you can only draw right and left. Vertical, you can only draw up and down. Polar, is it adds in a 45 degree angle here. So I can draw um, any angle I want, including 45 degrees. So I can left click, left click, left click, 
and then right click to end that function. So we have drawn these funky lines, play with that a little bit and um, play with these constraints. If you are working on a project that perhaps has like a 30, 60 degree angles, you can set that um, here. I have it set to the default is 45 degrees. So you know, you can set that there if you need to. So you've drawn these, li these lines, but this is not what we want our drawings. So let's figure out how to delete them. So this little recycle bin right here, delete entities, left click. And then you see how your cursor changes to this little square bullet hole, um, left, left, and they turn blue because I'm selecting them left, right, and now they're gone. So again, left click. And then when you right click, you're basically telling the computer, all right, I'm done telling you what to do. Please complete the function. So this is our simple tour of um, how to draw a polyline left, left, right. Um, for the record, this one, um, skip this one, almost like to, on your notes, just scratch out this one. This is a line and they are not as versatile as your polylines. So I'm gonna hit escape. I'm gonna click this and you see how this handle comes up in the middle. I can now pull this and make it a curve here and here, but on this line, I cannot change this and make it a curve. It only does this and they don't connect well either. So um, don't ever, I do not ever use this one, but I, this is what I'm creating my drawings in with this line right here. So um, I'm gonna delete those again. So left click on my trash can, left, select it, left, select it, right click, Boom, they're gone. Okay, that's our first lesson. Next thing we're gonna do is learn how to import a survey and scale it and rotate it to get your drawing started. 